Mr Adams said the party remained committed to the peace process. <laughs> Funky noises, the banging noises. Well, in fairness, we are bored with the war now, so it's time to start, you know, resuming normal service, shall we say, on the squad. For a while, thought that we'd never hear that tune again, but, well, there it is. Uh, we shall introduce the members of the squad and tool them up and, you know, get underway shortly, but first... Our first tune up against the wall for delectation. Shall we let it go? Shall we interrogate it further? Will we threaten its family? Kid Creams hypnotizing on Positiva Records is first up. Have a listen, squad. Tooling up and introductions follow. Cream, uh, a bit of hypnotizing Positiva Records, our first tune up against the wall this evening. Uh, it's time to tool up and introduce the members of the squad this evening. And straight away, I'm going to our multi million pound psychoacoustic link to our studios on the west coast of the country at this time. Uh, I believe BP Fallon is hosting some sort of uh, gathering and party there. Uh, are you there, BP? Hello. Uh, so they tell me, yes, it's Death Disco Night in Limerick tonight in, uh, in Dolan's Warehouse, actually. I, I see. And That's the Death the Disco crew have taken over Lyric FM, I'm told. Is yes, this, the uh, Death yeah. Disco crew are rampaging around here in Limerick. In, uh, We're absolutely rampaging around here in Limerick, aren't we? Uh-huh. That's, uh, that's Miss, well. Miss Jamie Coon there from uh, New York. Jamie, you're very welcome in. Oh, thank you very much. It's lovely to be here. And who else have you got with you there, And uh, this is Tony James. Um, to BP's left. The Disney. Tony James, in fairness. Can we have the some silence? Tony sil- James. Yeah, we'll just have some silence for, for Tony. 
There we go. Bit of respect. Thank you. <laughs> Very welcome, man. Uh, with, now, I, I, unfortunately, you're going to have to uh, fire your weapons by remote control. They are missile launchers and they're outside in the car park. So at, at any time, you can instruct me to launch missiles on okay. your behalf. So that's, that's your weaponry this evening, gentlemen. Love I've got to tell you right from the get-go that I'm a big fan of this kind of music. And uh, I listen to this kind of stuff all the time. I see. Non-stop. Oh, when my girlfriend will let me. She so you might, na- you might actually be losing your weapons at so this I'm, time. Uh, be they have to be this. disarmed. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, uh, in the studio with us right now, it's time to tool up a regular on the squad. Uh, it's good to have Ron's mobile disco back. Ron, looking very mobile. Am I? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, you're stationary <laughs> at this time. But, well, I, mean, I thought I was going to be fucking off. No, <laughs> man. <laughs> at this Not stage. quite. I mean, you're so, uh, <laughs> what you're doing is you're hanging by a string in midair and you'd amuse a child, so therefore you're immobile. And I'm going <laughs> to give you... <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the uh, uh, automatic. What is that? That's the Laura Croft automatic. So we just want to uh, okay. just, just give the test on that. Just, just working there. Just, uh, thank you. Wonderful sweet. Very welcome in, Ron. Good to have you. Thank you. Uh, I'm not sure. Tony, have you been on the show before? Have you been? On? No, and I'm only just starting to get. Well, the actually, hang of it. Tony, we so actually we have a. No, this is the first uh, problem I've encountered this right. evening without even thinking about it because Tony Mullen is also with us here. That was uh-huh. the Tony I was referring to. So uh, uh, Tony Ella would refer to you as. Okay. <laughs> Tony Ella. Don't Tony Ella is Tony Mullen. Right. Okay. Tony, Tony James is Tony. Yes, I'll be Tony. Right, okay. Tony Ella. Your first time, is it? Your first time hey, here? No, the second. The first time is by a telephone. The witch? The, 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 uh, this is the second time. Second time, you say. Would you like the machine pistol? Would you go with that? The Nazi machine yes, pistol? Yes, Would you? There you go, right. We can just cough all of that. I'm going to get a quick, quick zing on it there now. We'll just check it. Oh, dear Lord. Is that comfy, is it? Does it feel good? Oh, dear Lord. Yeah. All right, well, Tony, uh, James, uh, you were yes. saying you, you sort of dig this kind of thing, so we'll go with you first. So I'm we... listening to this stuff all the time, and uh, yeah, I kind of like this one. It here in a bit now. It's sort of like a, a deep, funky, wet groove, I think it's referred to as. Yeah, probably not anarchic enough for me. Anarchic. I like the stuff that really blows you to death with. Well, hold on a minute, we can just uh, the other the side of the record. We'll just get the other side on here, and we Okay. Um, that sounds good. A bit wishy-washy. Yeah, a bit for me. Yeah. I won't be sampling this one. It's a bit trippy. Hold on. I like <laughs> it. Hold on, just see it does something eventually. Hold on. No. no. Okay, right, okay. It's <laughs> sort of like, I don't know, but, uh, no, 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 no. a soundtrack from Battlestar Galactica or something equally <laughs> iffy there, really. Not sounding... Okay, so this one's this one's sort of floating your boat there, Tony, is it? With yeah. this sort of funky yeah. vibe on it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I... Some seriously threatening bits of that there, isn't there, really? I tape hours of this stuff on the mini disc every week, and I um, spend a lot of time sampling bits off off them, um, which is and then uh, use them in my remixes. And would this be like the beats you'd be taking, or the funny noises? I take the beats noise? and the synth parts, and but also I listen to it for the ideas behind the track, because what we're trying to do with Death Disco is that I do my own remixes of rock and roll records, oh, but right. I try to apply the ideas that dance music uses either the repetitive groove and the mm-hmm. way you mash up the beat, but do that with rock and roll records. Well, I mean, I think so if, I uh, mesh the two together. You, I think we'll all agree that dance records are, are very um, traditional rock and roll arrangements. It's just For the, me, piece, the pieces are longer. I consider this kind of music to be the rock and roll of now. Hmm. So, uh, Beep and Jamie, are you feeling anything for this tune at all down that direction? It's kind of a, it's sort of really, it's like underwater sex, isn't it? You know, um, and this sort Look, of. I could slow it down a bit if you want. There we go. That's sort of underwater sex speed there now. That's more like it. That's more porno yeah, speed, there's really. More yeah. Bubbles there now, really. I like the sexy vocals on it, you know, and I also like that bit where it goes rrr, rrr, like a kind of a horny bullfrog trying to get a hard one. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. The old backwards. Oh, there we go. Look there at the bullfrog. Only if you could see him now. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Frog chorus lad. Well, but between the three of you, I need a percentage chance of this doing something. So from the uh, West Coast jury, what do you reckon? A uh, percentage uh, of this happening, percentage. doing something? We'll just have a little huddle here, Mr. PJ. Would you give a uh, Huddling one? there. I'd huddle say about script. sort of uh, 27 and a half. Yeah, it doesn't do it for me personally, I have to say. So there's a promise and the 27. Are you agreeing on around the 27 and a half? We got the 27. 27 and a half. 27 and a half, 27 and a half percent, mm-hmm. fine. Okay, Ron, anything happening in your trousers with this tune there? Um, well, I would, I would actually like it an awful lot more if there wasn't the annoying vocal in it. The vocal, you say, is spoiling this? Yeah, it, 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 it's on. unfortunate. I really, really actually like the, the sound of the synth. It's got a lot of guts to it. And yeah, I mean, okay. Just reloading you again. Might, you here. might talk about frogs. I have frogs in my back garden, and I like them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
And would you be maybe sampling these frogs and making yeah. megastars out of them? Um, no, I don't go for beer advertisements from America. Right. Okay. <laughs> it could be an opening. You know, selling intoxicants is a big thing nowadays. Your um, frogs could be famous, Ron. You could. But now, if I was going to dance to this, the vocals would what um, would make me want to dance more than the beat there. So the, yeah. Dance, well, but then the it's vocals would take me to somewhere a else. Matter of preference of what you're actually. Uh, are you getting any closed eyes angles happening. there on the vocals at all, or is it all just like too much annoyance really for the? Yeah. Uh, you recognize the vocal? Have you heard it used before in other tracks? Uh, oh, many, many times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Must I, I, mean I even have it on the have it on the sample records at home and stuff like that. I know? think it's Freak was the original. Yeah. Wasn't it Freak did the original of that? I haven't. P H O E K. I see now. See, possibly must be the music. Anyway, enough uh, percentage of it doing something. What do you think? Uh, well, it's Kid Cream. Like in fairness, six out of yeah. ten. Six out of ten, sixty percent. Which is you know, yeah. just, I'm, I'm being generous here. I actually I do think that it, it could do a lot. Hmm. I'm gonna give it a bit of plus six there now, isn't it? There you go, now a bit more. Hey, yeah. 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 Tell you it's the foot. <laughs> yeah, we, we played this last night. I think our party would have gone off much better. Really? Yeah. yeah. Party. See, it does have the nice bit in it, which, uh, as Jamie pointed out, is nice for girls because they like to hear bits that aren't machines and sounds of things crashing. Yeah, it kind of yes, reminds me of uh, Josh Wink stuff that is like, sampled uh, um, back in like well, in the early '90s and stuff. Yeah. And, you know. Well, 60 is promising. Uh, Tony Ella, would you give this a look? Would you play this or would you, you know, what yes, do you think? Yes, yes, yes. I like, um, I like mm. it a lot. Um, everybody seems to be debating over the vocal or the back, but I like the both the bus. A good package all over again. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good sort of, they suit one another, yeah. Yes, big time, yeah. I like, no, the vocal's good. I've heard, I've heard another, a couple of different um, versions of this. Judge Jules has been hammering a version, a faster, trancier version. But they, no, this is good. I like the... The frog it's, it's, it's a very deep, yeah, clear, frog, clubby yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. deep groove, yes. Yeah, Slightly good. more brain capacity needed to absorb this one entirely. <laughs> which is nice. I, I could actually That's see crazy. a lot of people strutting their stuff to this. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Would this be sort of brand flakes of club music or would it be like Frosties? It's, it's obviously not Frosties now with well, uh, some marshmallow in it and stuff. No. <laughs> well, I mean, for, uh, particularly for those that are like, you know, in their sort of late 20s, 30s and stuff like that, 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 that uh, w- want to be this post post kind of mad raver club thing. They'd go to like Spirit and be, think they're really cool and stuff and they'd uh, go and yes. jiggle their stuff yes, to this and, yes, you yes. know, uh, that, that's the epitome of it. But, you know, I, I'm not going to knock that because I like that too because I'm almost that in that age group. <laughs> I'm getting old, I know. Yeah, entering the Zimmer zone. Yeah. yeah. So, Tony Allen, percentage chance of Kid Cream doing a, a thing or anything yeah, at all, really? Yeah. 75, Eddie. 75, Eddie, I'll take 77 and a half Excellent. out of you, which is great because I can add that to the other half and then I don't have all these problems dividing my fractions and all that kind of shit. Right, okay, moving swiftly <laughs> along here. This is a bit of erasure. Oh my God, hold your horses. Come up and see me sometime. Steve Harley and the Cockney Rebel get 2003 Courtesy of Mute Records. Have a listen.
baby. Um, <clears throat> right, that's um, Erasure and Come Up and See Me sometime. Uh, Mute Records are presenting. I'm not really sure who did the mix. We'll um, um, tell you in a minute. Uh, we're joined right uh, at this moment, I should mention, by uh, Raymond C as well, who's just dropped in. Raymond, hey, you're very well. Oh, yeah, doing Good okay. evening. Uh, two of you up here. Two of you up got the Dirty Harry gun. Oh, Would yes. you go, go a bit of Magnum? Oh, yeah. There you go. Right, just uh, check it out there. Wonderful. Thank you're you very much. Tonight, yeah. You're feeling dirty, you say? <laughs> dirty. Dirty Larry, Barry, or Harry. You know, they're all, Triplet of DJs, actually, the midgets. And they, never mind, we get on to that. Uh, right then, I think, well, what can we do? This tune really, except start with um, uh, Tony Ella. I, I could see you were tapping your um, gun to that one. Um, Wait, can, can I just straight away kill it? Straight away. Oh my that god. That is absolutely dreadful. Nothing at all happening no, for you there. No crap. As soon as, it, as soon as I heard the vocal, just no. Uh-uh. Mm. Okay, so up until the vocal, was it doing anything at all? No, <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, no, it's just shit. Okay. <laughs> it's crap. <laughs> well said. Well said. <laughs> I see. A percentage uh, chance of it doing something? Then I think we we'll just skip straight to. Uh, um, what, do you, what do you hope for this? Minus twenty. Minus twenty percent. <laughs> okay. Uh, Raymond clapping away nicely. Um, there. What are you thinking I'd about have this? To agree. Yeah. There, it yeah. reminds me of something like uh, DJ Yachty. Um, DJ Yachty. Hey, baby, or something like that. Oh my god! All right, well, hold on a minute. We do have a. There's a dub version, right? There's a dub mix. We just check the dub out here. That is a dub. I swear. Oh. Oh. There's another mix as well. It's like folk music. Oh, I know there's a good bit here. Hang on. <laughs> I mean, I was, just, I, I, was, I was reliably informed it was actually a good bit, and I'm sorry about, I'm sorry about that, right? I'm ruining your flow. Um, so anything um, going there at all? Anything twitching? Maybe, uh, you know? 5%, you could say, it could do well. Like a charity, poppy song, like DJ Yossi. That song right, so drinkers, you say? Yeah. Right. Well, we tested with that. Don't know what they're doing. Let's find the chorus here, hold on. That's the bit risky. The ooh la la la. It sounds like it's a singer. So you just go along. Yeah, it fits, fits, you know. Several drinks and you might like sing along with it, I suppose. Um, so what are you thinking? You did a five percent. Oh, that was quite, it is, it's quite, <laughs> quite actually generous of you, uh, really. Uh, Jamie, Tony, uh, beep. Any thoughts at all, or anything happening for you down that end? Um. I have to say I hated this one as well. It, it, unfortunately, it comes across like such a karaoke version of ah. the original track, you know. And isn't this the second record off this album? They've done a whole album of covers of these sort of classic records. I'm afraid it and, is, yes. Yeah, and I hated the last one as well. I can't remember which, which it was, which is a shame because I think Erasure are really great. And I think I can't understand what has got Vince and... Um, yeah, I don't get it either. I mean, Vince is making to, to do this. He makes some very good noises. Like he's, he's they the, make he, fantastic records, and he's so talented. And I, I, I can't really see the understanding behind doing this record. Or maybe it was just something they thought would would be fun. But it's not really working for me. I have to say. I say. Well, um, I hate being horrible about other people's groups. Having been <laughs> had the whole world be horrible about my groups. <laughs> Well, I always feel for them, but you, you uh, even yeah. things up right now because I just happen to have a Love Missile F111 standing by in the car park. <laughs> yeah. If you'd just like to uh, hit your button there, maybe I can That's launch right. a razor for you. Would you, would you zoom like it to, off. Uh, do you want me to do that for you? There? <laughs> there's another, there's someone interfering there. Can I just ask BP what um, kind of show you've got me on here? Uh, <laughs> he said people come in and review records and people That's are firing. Exa- That's exactly what we're doing. Do so you do this every week to people's records? Um, if they're bad enough, we, we tend to, yeah. So let me just run this by you. You play yeah. the records yes. and then people like shoot things at them. <laughs> well, and yeah. this works on National Irish Radio, doesn't it? It does yeah. actually work. Yeah. Regularly. Uh, yeah. Regularly This it is does a big work. show, I'm told. Uh, allegedly it is. Yeah. No, it isn't, no. Okay, well, I'm trying to get in the spirit of things. <laughs> well, you see, uh, it works like this. Isn't that our taxi beep? Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you'd been able to get in early at all of the evil people in history and er- eradicate them, you know yes. what I mean? A lot of wars, a lot of hassle, a lot of grief, a lot of people spending four ninety nine for shit records would never have happened. That's so. right. It's called preemptive record correction. That is correct. This is a non-aggressive, preemptive correcting of... Hold on. 
There's another mix here of a razor coming in right now. I think we're all looking forward to it. Oh, sweet. Um, so we blasted that for you, um, uh, uh, West Coast Crew. So would you percentage uh, razor considering it's it is? A it's I a actually got, think if you it's a fun me, record. You right? write it down. You liked it on your bit of I paper. I do. I'm about to say oh. that, Mr. James. I, th- I mean, apart from the from vocal, the popular right? front of rock and which, roll, being which, taken which, at a... which kind of reminds me of Jimmy <laughs> Somerville singing Peanut actually, which is disrespectful to Vince, you know. Disrespectful uh, I think to Peanuts. I, disrespectful <laughs> to Peanuts. And disrespe- I thought the Steve Harley record was great. I really like the backing on this because at times it's cheesy and at other times it's really spacey, but the vocal is dildo. <laughs> dildo, you say? That's a non-battery... Oh, never mind. Um, I think he means self-indulgent. Yeah. You see. <laughs> Miss Coon. It kind of reminded me of something that they would do at a drag queen club with like a fat Puerto Rican boy dressed as a girl <laughs> cheerleader doing backflips. <laughs> so, uh, uh, or like yes. long flowy skirts with high grass, slow motion with sun gently coming in. Very cheesy 70s vibe or something. Mm. I didn't mm. like it. That is erasure, isn't it? It is erasure. Oh, shit. You've just summed them up on every video they've ever made, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Complete with the guy, yeah. the, the guy in the dress. Karaoke also and, kind of summed it up there. Uh, you put it on the mark there. Yeah. So, can we agree on a percentage from you lot? Well, no, we, we can't have, agree. We, have, we don't we have an agreement, really. We haven't, got any, we haven't got to resolution number 604 yet. All right. Uh, no, well, you could, just, a, you could just each give it 100 and divide by three. No, like I'm a, on five for me. I, I hated okay. it on every level. I couldn't find anything I liked. I didn't even like the bass drum sound. Every level? Yeah. It's quite seriously deep contempt there, John. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, at, I'm at 61% just for... Um, just for the camp quality and amusement, yes? Well, Deep, I can't work with you now. I'm pretending to be American. I've got to work with this guy later. I can't believe it. I've been here 10 minutes, I already realised we have opposite tastes. What's going on? You might surprise you and play it later and you people might actually like it. You never said anything about this like on the way over. <laughs> we were discussing records we liked. So we've got a 60 and a 5. And uh, a 10% from me just... And a 10, so that's sort of like, hold on, what is that, 75, that's about 80, and divided by 3, it's like, okay, so well, we give it 25, how's that? Okay. 25 is good. Right. Okay, uh, Tony Allen. <laughs> Did you already comment on this? I think you did. It's a, oh god, it's wrong. What do you, what do, you, I, I, do, do we care? <laughs> Why? Well, yeah, my opinion is relevant. Uh, well, do you care about the record? Do you care what happens? No, no, of course not. No, no. I mean, like, it's, it's, it epitomizes the uh, the worst elements of Euro pop trash. That's like yeah. you know these things that you want. You so wish they were never made in the first place. It's like Aww. somebody persuaded you to go to this local disco and you listen to the music there and you hate every single moment of it. Uh. And this record epitomizes <laughs> your dreading moments. Right. You want to just get out of there. I don't care how many people buy you extra drinks and extra pints. Yes. I don't want to drink it. I just want to go. Right. Okay. See that? Hold it's a back. null point. A null point. <laughs> okay, we've already had a peppering, so I think we'll save our ammunition. And we, oh my God, look at that Junior there! Junior and Leaving Cert students, it's time to book your pre and post Easter ribs and orals. Phone Ashfield College at four nine hundred eight six six. That's four nine hundred eight six six now. Ashfield College Temple O for students who want better results. You can't hear the seven beautiful colours of new AccuView Two Colours contact lenses, or the colour cushioned inside the lens. But you can hear the stopping power they have. Now enter the AccuView Stopping Power competition, where you could win one of six major parts in a short film. Call 1-800-928-938 now. Calls cost up to seven cents per minute. For terms and conditions, visit accuview.co.uk. And action! When I first go to the hairdressers and I get my hair coloured, I feel like a million dollars. After a while, though, it starts to look really dull. Well, everything fades. It just dries out and it is so annoying. It's hard to hide bad hair. Dove shampoo and conditioner for coloured hair puts the moisture back. My hair feels rich again. It's lovely and silky to touch. I feel like I've just come out of the hairdressers. I'm like a new person. Even my boyfriend noticed and that is saying something. Dove. Moisturised hair. Beautiful hair. I just love it when I shine. It's Cork's newest and funkiest late night lounge. It's the Newport Cafe Bar featuring top notch R&B, hip hop and quality vinyl DJs. The Newport Cafe Bar, Paul Street Plaza, just off Patrick Street, giving the heart of Cork City a real beat. Uh, Let's move swiftly along. Uh, These people are brassy. This is Play Some D. It's described as on a blend of punky swagger and hip hop sensibilities. So uh, button down the hatches and have a listen. Brassy D, play some D indeed.
Records are presenting a Brassy and Play Some D. I thought it was Brassy D, but it's just Brassy, isn't it? Hold on, just check that out here. It is. And uh, I, I better describe this for our jury on the West Coast. Um, the sleeve is sort of a gatefold thing, but it's all lovely sort of um, uh, pastel shades of blue and, 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 and green. And it's showing a big ghetto blaster with aerials on it. It's very, you know, very funky and noisy. So, uh, so Ron, uh, thoughts on uh, this Brassy individual? I mean, what do you think I've of this thing? I've actually got this record at home. Oh, so, you do? You have yes, it? I really have, well, I have a copy of the track. Uh-huh. I kind of like the track. I, I just, for me, it doesn't go far enough out there, and it doesn't go anywhere after the first bit. I kind of want a bit more from it, so really? I kind of well, like think... the idea of it. Yeah, and, well, uh, there is I've been bit... playing it at home a lot. It's this alternative mix of it here, which I'm not really sure what it does. So. Bit of old school clappiness there now. Sounds like Prince. Sounds like Prince, you reckon? <laughs> so Ron, uh, Ron, thoughts here on this? I like the, the 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 previous mix of it. Like I, I'd actually, I, I, you know, I could fa- I could see myself with silly moments, hands in the air. I'd actually love it and go and give twirls on the dance floor and stuff like that. You know, um, twirls, you say? Well, I'm actually really good at twirls. Dancing. Chocolate bar twirl or on one <laughs> heel twirl? This kind of twirl. You're gonna do the twirl. Let's just <laughs> check the twirl later. Yeah. Okay. Go on. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. And he did the like superhero thing with the arms. Michael Jackson yeah. style. Yeah. And when he finished, he did the like you know the, the the pose, like the muscle pose. That was like. It was a bit of a muscle Mary pose though, Ron. In fairness, but uh, so you can see yourself uh, copping off one on the uh, could be interesting now for a bit of a foot chopper like. Well, I, I do have a problem that uh, I, I tend to attract lots of gay men. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's a problem. Some people would really delight in that. <laughs> Well, see, the, t- the problem is that I'm not gay. Oh, right. <laughs> no, I yeah. see. Yeah, okay. Jeez, uh, that's, that's a terrible thing to admit on national radio, really, Ron. You come out there and, and declare you're not. He sounds so gay. He's actually... He sounds gay. <laughs> so Ron is straight. There you go. Here on the uh, West Coast. We're West Coast, we're on. Uh, for the other mix, well, I think I do too. Yeah, so I think the first mix is there. the best one. That's a little bit. So, uh, what do you think there? Would this do anything there, Ron? Okay, the percentage, percentage of it is actually really cool. It is really, really cool. It reminds me of the best elements of uh, the Beastie Boys. All right, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really do like it. Uh, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, you know, well, I know, okay. Once again, I, I, I do have this kind of. I'm not hugely into vocal stuff unless it's actually really good cool and it's like the Beastie Boys are really good vocals. So it's kind of. It's a bit poppy, but you know, it's actually a really good pop tune, hmm. I think. So you put, know, put, it's put a, a number really on good it. Good dance for a pop tune, so that you know, uh, I would not mind if I was in a club and that was being played or a party. Somebody's house house party. A bit of a party, best, lad, yeah. best, best yeah. music to go and play at a house bit of a party. Barbecue yeah. party script yeah, going yeah, on yeah, there, yeah, perhaps. Exactly, yeah. you know. You know, like, everybody's totally listening. locked, oh. lashed, whatever, hammered, mashed, whatever. You I know. see. <laughs> I see. Kind of good percentage. Number me. Number me. A oh eight. Eight. Okay. West Coast yeah, I was going to come in with 80 on this from our end. You're going to well. say 80 as well, yeah? Yes, I was. Yeah, I did this. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. cool. Anyone else know where, where the sample of the keyboard comes from? It sounds like it's from a record. I'm, keep, I'm sure I've heard it somewhere. But... I think it's just your standard Rhodes piano being played in a sort of a hammery style, isn't it? I think so. It sounds like it's from something. It's really been nagging me ever since I've had the record. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. It's the did it, did it. The the staccato notes one after another is very familiar. But that's just the way you play a Rhodes. You have to hit the Rhodes, the original '73 Rhodes, quite hard to get that lovely warm sound. Otherwise, it's tinkly super tramp. But you can get that lovely distorted feel to there. You know what I mean? So I suspect it's just someone playing a Rhodes very hard. Mm, yeah. Oh. Very nicely produced, though. I like it. I like oh, yeah. it. So we, you're going the '80s, well down there. Yeah. Any objections, uh, Beep, uh, Jamie? You thinking the same? Sorry. Oh, I like it as well. I can picture my friends and I groove into it as well. Uh-huh. But I also I agree with Tony here that I expect a little bit more from it, or I'd like a little bit more from it to take me somewhere. I was thinking more bass, but I don't know. It's just I think it's easy and light just to well, you see, have a this, little groove too. This is why I keep skipping to this other mix here and I'm being disappointed. The mix is called the DJ Suite Ultimate Defense Mix, right? This is the other version of it, and it's like... It's the ultimate non-defense, really, yeah, in fairness. Like, where's the threat? It doesn't have the good bit in it, though. <laughs> it doesn't no. have the roads, it doesn't it have the swing or anything. Really, it sounds like the kind of track that a DJ would get bottled for. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I like the lighter one better. Yeah. Hmm. You prefer this version here? Yeah. You can do, you know, you can dance to that. Can... It's, it's less House of Pain in a pub piss type sound, really, isn't it? It's more. That's more 7 Series BMW, sort of. Isn't it? Isn't it really? You know what I mean? Uh-huh. We stick with your 80. Uh, Tony Ella, uh, thoughts on um, this? Uh, nobody's this... mentioned that this is off the Vodafone advertisement. Is it? Yes, <laughs> it is with David Beckham. 
You see David just, Beckham in the TV. We're not supposed advert. to mention that, surely. Oh, you can mention it away, surely. I mean, no, no, fairness. no. It's just I thought somebody else would have said it before me, but no, that's, this is off the Vodafone Live advert. Oh my God. The back in the back in music. So it's probably going to be another tune that's going to be made famous by a TV advert before it's been properly released. Oh, then we all won't like it. Yeah. Okay. Lucky them. Lucky them. As soon as I heard the as soon as I heard the chorus or the the wee vocal, you know, the wee yeah, but uh, you know, the, wee, the, the vocal, but. It's just going to reload it there. He watches a lot of television. <laughs> I don't think no, you have I don't to really. actually. I mean, mobile phone ads are bloody well everywhere now. No, I know, but no, it's to do with the uh, Motorola. Sure, there's a there. Like a. It's for the TV Motorola ad. Like ah, yeah, okay. See. Those amazing. You know, there's a wee games on the on the mobile. Yeah. There's wee games, so that's what oh. it's. Is the, is the woman saying play in that? Ah. I see. So this is all becoming oh, very so clear to me sad. now. That's yeah, that's ah, yeah, caught rapid. Okay, fair enough. So do you like it? Dis- oh, yes, no, it's cool, all of it's cool. It. It's, a, it's a 78.2. 78.2-er? <laughs> <laughs> you just didn't want to Good give it to the lady, yeah? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I'm back a bit. Uh, Raymond C., any uh, thoughts on... Um... I'll have to go with the rest of the crew here. Um... Definitely play this on a Wednesday night in uh, the Temple Theatre. It said a student would love this. Oh, it's a student lad. Oh, yes, definitely yeah. For, forgetting the student yeah. factor there once again. Uh, okay. I reckon that will go down well now on a Wednesday night in the Temple. Large amounts of pints and students. Oh, I reckon, uh, and you pour, oh, yes, and you pour a bit of this on top yes. of them. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 and a big crazy. scrum. Yeah, messy. Yeah, mm. Lovely. Yeah. I, I'm going to have to go with... Um, 85. 85. Yeah, because I could see myself playing this in my own indie set. Oh, I like the way they didn't give us a photo of Brassy because that would just ruin all of these lovely evil thoughts I'm having about it. Uh, right, let's move swiftly along, shall we? This is uh, Beam versus Cyrus right about now and um, they've got a special guest appearance from MC Hammer, believe it or not. This is You Can't Touch This. Uh, EMI Capital Records out of Germany are pushing this. Have a listen. Can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. 
You can't touch this. Indeed, uh, that's uh, Beam versus Cyrus uh, featuring MC Hammer. It could be the other way around. I'm not really sure the way things are written. Uh, you can't touch this. EMI and Capital Records are uh, putting this one out uh, for our examination. Uh, Raymond C, we'll start with you. As you can see, you're jumping around the room there to that one. Uh, what? There's nothing funny at all. Nothing funny about this record no, at all? Not, no, there's oh nothing dear, funny. Oh dear. Can you can, yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, MC Hammer, in fairness, once again, Hammer gets a hammering. And it's horrible, isn't it? This is classic here, my Germany. <laughs> Honestly, I have a special personal beef with them anyway because they did a dopey remix of one of my records oh, yes. um, about a year ago and got us to go and play at a techno festival oh, and no. treated us really shittily. Mm. So um, I hope this one dies a death for them. Well, so well, here, my Germany. Whatever happened to MC Hammer? Did he, he had millions of quid and he, he what did he do with it all? He Isn't bet he a good gangster rapper now or something? No, nah, he, he lost it all on a horse or something stupid. He was a bit, well, you know, he was a few pence short yes, of the pound. Yes, but then he kind of really, repositioned you know? himself. As a gangster rapper, which everybody thought was stupid as well, and as far as I know, doesn't have anything. MC Hammer is really kind of like you know, very parallel to Vanilla Ice insofar as he was someone who was enormously inauthentic and uh, enormously shite, really. (laughs) (laughs) Enormous trousers. I think your wish already came true, Tony. I think it's already dead. Yeah. Fantastic trousers, though. But the the trousers were super. But all of the white boys bought his records. Uh, Did you have a copy of this, Ray? Did you actually buy the original or uh, Um, go on admit it? Yes. Ah, you see, he did. Everyone did. Yeah, because the original groove was great, wasn't it? The can't touch this thing at that time. It worked really well. That was all next from Rick James, wasn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So you shot it in the face. What percentage yeah, uh, chance does? I don't want to give it a five just for the wrapping. Of, <laughs> just, for, just, just for the wrapping for the sake the of the rest. The yeah. rest is just absolute rubbish. Mm. Okay, uh, right, fine. Uh, Ron, any happy memories of your childhood being brought back to life with this thing here now? No, no. I, I was always of um, the opinion that when I heard this track, it was a nightmare. Right. So um, this is just bringing back bad memories. So you've actually always hated this chin? Yes. Me. And was it was it the trousers that scared you? Right? <laughs> um, I, 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 oh, he had some amazing '80s stylists. Uh, oh, yeah, the, the worst silliness of the 80s oh it was it was early 90s i don't care it was parachute trousers no i think, though, I think it was 91 92 or something like that yeah right, oh no I, I i just never never oh, never, never never Christ never 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 here, here, here wait a minute here, do, do you value this oh, do you stop. value this record? no wait wait this look at this see this <laughs> i don't oh, yeah. believe this i have Ooh. to describe this for everybody etched into the inner bit of the record only about the first two inches of the record are used and on the inside we've got mc hammer Beam versus Cyrus etched into the record. <laughs> oh, <that is> just- <laughs> it actually does look kind of impressive. I mean, That's if it was a good record, it would be something to treasure. How do you do that? Like etch into a record? Right? <laughs> 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 yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever, yeah. Whatever, yeah. Whatever, yeah. Whatever, yeah. Oh, sorry, boss. We couldn't put that on. Oh, that'll be too dead. Anyway, here's the other mix, by the way. Which is- Awful. Yeah. No, so n- nothing over yeah. here. Okay, well, percentage wrong. Go on, what do you think? Oh, Jesus. Uh, uh. I mean, the thing is that uh, I, I give marks on the basis that uh, there is the rest of the world out there and they don't have the, hold the same opinion as I do. Yes. But uh, I'll give it 10. <laughs> 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 no, seeing the gun staying on the table, right? West Coast crew, uh, what are you thinking, Jamie? What, uh, any, uh, are you an horrible, MC Hammer fan? Horrible, horrible, horrible. Have you ever met MC Hammer? Is there anything new happening right now? What? what? Are this we is, still listening to this? Oh, hold on, man. <laughs> uh, this is a different mix, so you might be in luck here. Hold on. Hammer time! Oops. I'm not in luck. I'm sorry. I'm not into it at all. Mm-hmm. Would it be annoying you, perhaps? Um, yeah. No, no, not annoying me. Just, I, you know, I can't believe we're in 2003 and they're trying to put this out again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Be honest, it's annoying you. Oh. Be honest. Well, it's pretty be horrible. Honest. It, is, yeah. it is. It is horrible. I get a bit of a zero. A zero, yeah. yeah. Would, it, would, would you people like me to launch a preemptive attack on your behalf here because I've got a little someone here who could run upstairs and yeah, give MC Yeah, you know, you go for yeah, right. Let's swallow this. <laughs> Yeah, peace sucks at the moment. Oh, I was going to say, a sandstorm upon him. <laughs> <laughs> Seems uh-huh. to be the popular weapon of choice at the moment. <laughs> May a sandstorm knacker your rotors. Yes. Wonderful. Um, okay, Tony Imagine Allen. those trousers full of sand. <laughs> oh, <Quite heavy>. no. <laughs> 1%. Yeah, well, you've got a zero and one, so I'll give it a third percent between all of you. How's that? 
Okay. Yeah, okay. cool. Uh, Tony Allen. We're Anna, not going to uh, meet MC Hammer at Shannon Airport tomorrow, tomorrow, are we? Be? No, I hope not. Okay. Not, not unless he's been drafted or anything. Okay. Yes, yeah. exactly. He could be going out to entertain the troops, mm-hmm. or more to the point to rile them up to the state of foaming at the mouth. <laughs> so they're going to kill them. <laughs> well, uh, they're always taking up their speed pills, so, I mean, they're this all ready true. to go. So, have you, know, you noticed? The, the, the Americans do not actually have any responsibility because they are taking medication to keep them out 24 hours. They are. They have, yeah. uh, you know, all duped. So, they so are, therefore, yeah, uh, you know, they'd, they'd all be on for a rave. Yeah. I mean, I'm not this suggesting. Cool. I'm not this suggesting is, this is true. We're all going to Iraq. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, really. I mean, you well, know, if you do, if they have no it, responsibility it, it, in killing Canadians, so therefore they're all on for a rave. Yeah. You're getting political now, and you're We're actually losing me. Message, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're losing me here. <laughs> oh, there's these Americans. They got they killed these Canadians in Canada and stuff, and they said their excuse was that they took I'm, pills. I'm, I'm gonna have to enough you there, Ron. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry. Tony Allen is gonna give us a percentage. Brief, I'm gonna be real brief. Crop, 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 crop. Oh. Kill it, kill it, die. That's right. That's right. There's a twitch there if you just want to get it. That's, that's wonderful, yeah. You had a leg moving there. Uh, percentage? Um, minus 21 this time. Yeah. Minus 21%. Oh, God, look at that thing there. Ever wondered what brings out the tiger in Brian O'Driscoll? Kellogg's Frosties in association and the IRFU are giving 40 young rugby fans the chance to win a double pass to an exclusive training camp held by this top Irish rugby hero. So tackle the entry form in Monday's Irish Independent and you and a friend could be tackling Brian O'Driscoll at the Frosties rugby training camp. Uh, Mum, I thought we were going into town. We are, dear. But first I want to withdraw money from my AIB account. It won't take a second. But we're at the post office. Next. Hi, I'd like to withdraw some money from my AIB account. Now she's really lost it. There have never been more places to bank with AIB. Now you can lodge and withdraw cash, even pay your AIB credit card bills with cash at more than 1,000 post offices nationwide. Where to now, Mum? Shopping in town, dear. (laughs) You really aren't with it at all today, are you? So call into your local post office or AIB for details. Whatever way you want to bank, be with AIB. Allied Irish Banks PLC is licensed by the Central Bank of Ireland. Terms and conditions apply. If you'd met him, you'd have found him attractive, charming, and intelligent. But he had a secret, a very dark secret. He watched women, followed them, charmed them, and then he murdered them. Over 100 women. Ted Bundy was America's most notorious serial killer, and now the story of his horrendous crimes is a remarkable and haunting movie. Ted Bundy, exclusive and only available to rent at ExtraVision. ExtraVision, discover a world of choice. And let's move swiftly along with our choice from the German district once again, only this time he's from Germany. DJ Hooligan, also known as Dahul, also a real hooligan who actually got arrested for hooliganism. Wonderful stuff. The tune is Bad Boy Rockin'. It's on Silly Spider Records. Oi, oi, have a listen, squad.
would definitely be the hands in the air bit there. Extremely groovy from Hooligan Bad Boy, uh, rockin' in fairness, uh, Silly Spider Records out of Germany. I believe Silly Spider is actually Hooligan's own label, which is nice, and it really is called Silly Spider, and they really do have a Silly Spider on the label if you buy their uh, cheap editions. You know, they, they do a sleeve for the first few, and then after that they just do what, a hole yeah. in the bag, and you can see the sp- Silly Spider on the label. It's very cool. Very groovy. Uh, uh, we start with Tony Ella, a bit of Bad Boy stomping there for you, perhaps. Very, maybe, yeah. very good, yeah. The vocal, I've heard the vocal from somewhere else. Uh, it's a uh, bit sort of Felixy or something. Yeah, really. no, I've, I've heard it before, but the the bass line, the hands in there, but you said absolutely brilliant. It's mm-hmm. real, real dirty sound, real funky sound, real real uh, bad boy sound. Yes, 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 absolutely. You know, it's you'd very, be a very bad good. boy, wouldn't you? You'd, yeah. you'd hide from your girl. <laughs> you'd hide from your girlfriend to dance to it, like you know what I mean? Just, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Percentage chance of it doing something? Uh, what, are you, what are you thinking here? That's the best so far. Eighty-two. I don't know, lazy too, would you know? Sweet as, yeah. Ron, any thoughts on them? The bad, it's cool. boy, bad boy situation? It's cool, you say? I say it's cool, yeah. Cool. Mm. Yeah, it is, it is. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a lot going for it. Um, I mean, it's got a elements of like 95, 96 Polo Cult records. All right. Um, mm-hmm. That, that acid you said, I mean, I know this is a real train spotters and naming labels and bits and pieces like that. But no, no, it is. I definitely think it is. I, obviously, I believe in my conviction. Uh-huh. Uh, anyway. Um, what was your so, conviction, actually? Was it the exposure <laughs> thing you eventually got done for? <laughs> The what? Uh, the exposure. The exposure. The exposure. The what? Was that it or was it? Never mind. No, 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 no. Forget that. It was the speeding fine then. Because <laughs> we saw you in the local paper, it was just, oh, there's Ron, look, he finally got a conviction, wonderful, sweet. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Uh, no, um, yeah, the, I, there's, a, there's a lot of electro clash going around, and, you know, this is the epitome of the new stuff that's that coming out from Germany, and it's really good for what it's doing. It's really mm. good for what it does. Sort of a disco uh, yeah. angle on it as well, I, as that. It's, yeah. it's, it's, you know, it's, it, for me, this is where I'm going, and I like that. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, percentage I like all those, yeah. see all them wishy noises? Well, yeah, it's, it's a very, there's a very trancy element to it, uh, you know, but... What's you know. this now? This is all very... It's sort of the Aramaic, <laughs> scary, <laughs> desert <laughs> death thing, really, isn't it? I can't believe they're even... <laughs> I know, it gives it an edginess, whatever, like, you know. Uh, I, I still quite like it, though. And the, the, that element of, like, whatever, your know, acid, 303, yeah. 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 just, like, a very, very chug and beat. Uh, yeah, it's very pushing. funky, though. It's very funky, though, yeah, exactly, yeah. Pushing your buttons in a funky style, a percentage, then, of... Uh, Ooh, nine. nine. Look at the old nine zero. Okay, uh, West Coast crew, any uh, comment down there? What are you thinking about this? I, uh, think, uh, I think if washing machines could sing, if washing machines could sing at various speeds, they would probably sound like this. <laughs> A multi-speed washing device. Yeah. Been. I kind of like it actually, although my my uh, my conscience tells me that it's really. Appalling. You don't really like it, do you, Pete? No, I'm, listen, my, I, I, my conscience tells me it's appalling, you know, but I, I, I kind of do like it. I think that's why I probably should be in the washing machine. And have so it's removed. dragging you in a sort of a moth to a flame, it's going to mess you up, but you like it anyway sort of thing. Kind of, yeah. Mr. You're resisting, Dante. Beep, you're resisting the tune. This is, this, this is the hooligan thing, you see. I know, I know. I thought the track was great, but I thought the vocal I thought the vocal was lame. I was surprised everyone else liked the vocal. I thought the vocal didn't have something unique about it. Well, did anybody me. particularly like the vocal? No. Mm, I thought okay. I thought the vocal yeah, was okay. like kinder- it is, it's kindergarten. Very, it's very similar. It's not a it's not a super duper hook. hook. Mm. You know, as in can no. you remember anything of what they said? No. Sunscreen. Well, yeah, no. It's very like sunscreen, you know, isn't it? Oh, yeah, bad boys rocking. Like, you remember I can that. remember that yeah, as well. Like, Big bad girls knitting. But like a lot of the electro <laughs> clash that's happening right now, I feel like it's missing something, and it might have gone like just a little bit trashy. Something about it. It's like a lot of electro clash, in my opinion. But you can call me Twee, maybe. Maybe I'm not the rocking one, but just a little something, not there. Well, give us a quick yeah. percentage there because we're running out of time rapidly. I here. With what the Teutonic you? coolness, it didn't have any. Oh dear. Twenty-seven. 27, like I said. Raymond, see any thoughts? Uh, anything? Uh, yeah, it's a bit track. heavier than the stuff that I'd play, but it is good. I, I like it. I do like it. It's like a I horror movie soundtrack. I would dance to it. Yeah. Um, I'd have 
give you about 40. I reckon it will go somewhere. 40, right. Well, just, I'm, for, I'm, just for the name. Grant, I do my sums here. You can fill us in. What's happening with you tonight, Raymond? Where, 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 um, you, what are you playing on? Just a new night. I'm starting up. It's in the crypt in Temple Theatre. It's called Babushka. Mm, it's uh-huh. um, a night of uh, uplifting, tribal, funky house. Um, as it says on the floor, as you can see there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, here. Sleazy beats and disco treats. I see. DJ's on the night. Oh, Connor G, Dr. Hell, myself. And uh, another couple of lads, Bobby Bourne, Lil Big Al, and Frank Carney. From Sweet Christmas. ass. So the Crypt rocks funky styling. Well, it's about time. Yeah, Somebody. Yeah. Someone said. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, dude. Uh, the Tony Ella, what's your script for the up to the next uh, one? I'm an Enigma, that's in Cartman Cross. We've got the 12 inch thumpers down, and they're doing their hard house bouncy party oh, yeah. mad. The thumpers, that's this, this, this evening, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Pardon? Is that tonight? Yes, yes. Oh, that's sweet, huh? No accent, they're mad, actually. Mad. Should be good. <laughs> Okay, Ron, your script, what are you doing? What's coming up for you? Uh, oh, lots of parties, um, all see. nighters, um, uh, and um, the Temple Bar Music Centre next weekend. Next Friday, with uh, Sonny Will Sharp and Azrael, I'm going to be doing debuting loads of the new electro techno stuff I've been doing. Okay. I've spent three months doing this, so it'll be a new set. Um, and also, very nice, it's a uh, in aid of concern. All right, okay, oh, yeah. Yeah. excellent choice. I've seen a Friday night. Um, yeah. So, excellent I, choice. I, I have hopes that people will really, really get into it. I, I yeah, hope a, so, hope so. Hope and so, the money yeah, doesn't yeah. go into a fat promoter's ass pocket, it actually goes to concern, which um, they will find some use for. Well, they're kind of rich too, though. So, uh, Beep, West Coast crew, yes, Tony, West Jamie, Coast. well, thank you for making the effort and coming in. Tell us what's on the menu tonight for Death is, where, where is Death Disco? Where, where is it tonight? Disco is tonight at Dolan's Warehouse in Limerick. We're going to go shake a tail feather. Jamie Coon, the voice of America. Tony James with his amazing mashup mixes and some of the music that he's been making with Mick Jones is going to be playing and I'm going to play some music too. Maximum rock and roll and punk and trash and glam. Death Disco, Limerick number one at Dolan's Warehouse tonight. Sweet ass, sweet ass. So, uh, Tony, you survived. Uh, do you feel yes. any better after all of this? <laughs> yeah, it was quite, just flew by, right, that hour? Yeah. I know. And you think that no one's ever going to work with you again because you <laughs> dissed a couple of records. Well, maybe yeah, you could have saved someone a lot of money and they'll love you and give you a yeah. big gig in the future because no, of this, you know. I was real nice compared with how I used to be. Well, we'll get you next time when you're drunk and then we'll really have some fun, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell the truth. Uh, people, your survivor this weekend... Uh, it comes from, well, uh, this lot. Brassy plays some D. Wizu Records. Can we have some grumbling noises for the survivor, please? Wizu. Grumble. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> It's nine o'clock. A new poll shows that a majority of voters believe it's in Ireland's economic interest to support the United States in its war against Iraq. But despite that, the IMS poll in tomorrow's Sunday Independent shows that a small majority oppose the continued use of Shannon by the US military. While 62% disapprove of the United States-led military action, 54% believe it's in Ireland's national interest to support the United States. 29% approve of military action and 8% have no opinion. There are reports that three big explosions have hit central Baghdad tonight. US-led air raids have been attacking the city all day. America and Britain are denying reports that they are halting military operations for a few days because of supply shortages. Iraq has warned that the United States can expect more suicide attacks on its troops at the beginning of what it calls a new phase in its military campaign. It follows a car bombing at a military checkpoint today near the city of Najaf, southeast of Baghdad, in which four American soldiers were killed. Colonel Will Grimsley, the commanding officer of the four dead troops, explained what happened. The driver, single driver, stopped at the checkpoint, beckoned the soldiers who had it covered by fighting vehicles, and uh, as they approached uh, near the car, he detonated a bomb, killing himself and the four soldiers. 
An estimated 20,000 people took part in an anti-war demonstration in Dublin today. The protesters gathered outside government buildings where they listened to speeches from politicians and campaigners. Earlier protesters set fire to pictures of the Taoiseach and the Minister for Foreign Affairs Brian Cowan and burnt an American flag outside the Doyle. Gardaí arrested two men after they attempted to disrupt the speeches. I'm Brian Finn, that's the 2FM News. 2FM Weather with Permanent TSB. Proud sponsors of the Irish Rugby team. Cloud increasing from the northwest, but remaining dry tonight. Chilly overnight with some frost or fog in places. Lowest temperatures plus three to minus one degrees. Should I call him or should I text? Send him a little hello text. That way you're keeping some distance. I'm not trying to keep my distance. You know me, anytime, anywhere. What? I've got talk and text from Vodafone, so I have 150 text messages and 100 anytime minutes absolutely free each month. So I let him hear my voice any time. Wow, talk or text whenever you want. What are you going to do? I'll make him wait for a while and then call. Or maybe text. Life's better with Vodafone talk and text. Visit your local Vodafone agent.